The significance of this operation was recognized throughout our military establishment. Key representatives from all the services and other interested agencies were invited to observe this historic event, a critical first for the Army. The President was represented by close personal advisors. Prior to the exercise, the observers were oriented on the salient characteristics of the Davy Crockett system and on the overall scheme of maneuver they would witness. The countdown for the firing of the nuclear round was under control of the Defense Atomic Support Agency. Safety measures for the exercise were supervised by the Chief Safety Officer. At H minus five minutes, all troops were ordered to take cover in previously prepared trenches. At H minus three minutes, all observers put on high density goggles or turned their backs to the direction of the burst to avoid retinal burns. At H minus two minutes, green star clusters were fired as the final warning before the detonation. The round was launched at H minus 17 seconds to accomplish H-hour impact on the desired ground zero at a range of 2,852 meters. The round was set for a low height of burst. It detonated perfectly, releasing its lethal radiation. Like any other nuclear weapon, the Davy Crockett gives off three basic effects. Heat, blast, and nuclear radiation. By far the most significant effect is its deadly initial nuclear radiation. 